Hey guys, Matt with Matt's Whip Shop here. Uh, I finally got a microphone here, as you can tell. Um, so I'm really hoping that my audio is going to be excellent for this video. So today I've got kind of a little experiment going on here. The other day I was thinking about my crackers that I make for my whips, right? Um, and I got thinking, how does different sizes and all that stuff affect the way it cracks? Obviously, you know, we all know it does because if it gets too short, well, then, you know, it doesn't crack as well. But I got thinking and I started asking people that make whips. I'm like, hey, what do you make your crackers out of? And typically what size do you make them? Like the twisted portion versus the tassels on the end, right? And so I decided to do a little bit of an experiment. Obviously, I'm kind of taking things to a bit of an extreme, but I'm just curious how well this will work. So I have three different categories. I have thickness. I'll come up here and show you guys. So I went from my regular cracker that's on my whip that I'm going to demonstrate for a second here, um, which is just one strand of um, twisted Kevlar kite string. That's what I use for um, that's what I use for all these crackers anyway. So I went from one strand to two, three, four, and five strands thick. So I wanted to test out this thickness uh, as well as the twisted length versus the uh, tassel length. So these are all eight inch, sorry, 10 inch crackers like I normally make. I just adjusted the tassel to twisted portion ratio as well as I wanted to test out length of the whip. So I, again, I took it to quite the extreme. So I went all the way from a four inch cracker to a five foot cracker. So I just wanted to see, obviously, again, they're pretty extreme. No one's gonna make them this short or that long, but I just wanted to see what it'll look like. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off with thicknesses. So kind of as my control here, I will be using my five foot stock whip to demonstrate all these different lengths just to make sure nothing's changing. Um, but as always, this is my typical cracker. It is just a single strand of Kevlar kite string doubled over, twisted up. It's 10 inches long with two inch tassels. So this is my standard cracker that we're gonna compare against all these other. So as you can tell, it works pretty well, but let's go ahead and test it against these other ones here. Okay, so here we have two Kevlar strings doubled over and we'll see how well it works. This one should work pretty well. I've made other crackers that are this thickness, so I'm not too worried about it not working. And another quick volley. Yeah, so again, works pretty well. Let's see how three strands holds up. So again, this is three strands doubled over. Let's give it a try. And we'll do a volley. Okay, so uh, this one did sound quite a bit more muffled compared to the other one. So I'm starting to think after about two strands, you're gonna just get a lot more of a muffled sound. Okay, so now we have four strands doubled over. Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, so again, you just get even more of a muffled sound with five, I mean with four, but uh, let's move to five. Okay, so again, here's five, let's give it a try.
and a volley. Yeah, so again, just gets a little bit more muffled the thicker you go. It does work sometimes, but it's definitely not as good as two or less strands. So if you guys are using the same string that I am, I would recommend two or less strands. You're gonna get pretty good sound. Any higher than that, it just starts to muffle it. Uh, I will also put a link in the description to the Kevlar kite string that I use. It's just a twisted Kevlar kite string. Um, I do make crackers out of nylon string as well, and it works great, but I've really loved these Kevlar crackers that I make uh, because they're just more durable and they just seem to last a little longer. And I can make them thinner and still have great sound coming out of them, so I highly recommend it. Again, I'll put a link in the description for that. So the next category I wanted to test here was the length of the cracker versus the length of the tassels. So all these crackers are 10 inches long, just like this one. This was, again, my standard one. So it's 10 inches long with eight inches of the twisted portion with two inch tassels on it. Whereas these ones, I went all the way from two inches of twisted portion with eight inches of tassels. Um, and I just went to increments of two inches from there. So there's four inches twisted, uh, six inches of tassels and six inches of twisted portion with four inches of tassels. So we'll see if that makes a difference, I don't know. But I'm going to find out. So again, this is just the standard one that I make just to kind of give you guys a control again. So again, that's the regular one. Let's move on to one down. Okay, so next up is, uh, again, 10 inches, six inch twisted portion with four inches of tassels on it. So we'll see how well it works. Okay, well, still seem to work pretty well. Uh, not much of a difference. Uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this one is four inches of braided with six inches of tassels. Let's see how it works. Again, didn't seem to really affect it much, but let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we've moved down to two inches of the braided portion with eight inches of tassels. Okay, so in my opinion, just from this little experiment here, the length of the tassels versus the length of the braided portion doesn't seem to affect it that much, if at all. Um, at least in my opinion, they seem to be all pretty well the same, if not exactly the same. I didn't really notice any effect in performance or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, let's move on to the next category. Now for the last category, we're going to test the overall length of the cracker. So I have made from four inch crackers all the way up to five foot two inch crackers. So we'll see how that affects it. Okay, so first off, the four inch cracker, it's got two inches of braided portion and two inch tassels. We'll see how it works. So it works okay, definitely not as good as a longer cracker, 
um, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, so next we have six inch cracker. Um, all of these ones, by the way, all of these different lengths all have two inch tassels on them, but this is the six inch total length cracker. So definitely better than the four inch one, um, but not quite as good as the eight inch one. Next up, a one foot, two inch cracker. Let's see how it works. It works pretty good. I didn't notice it affecting my performance at all. So yeah, I would still think this would work pretty good. Okay, so here I have a two foot, two inch cracker. Let's see how it works. Uh, it kind of surprises me, but I think it actually worked pretty well. Not too bad. Okay, next up, three foot, two inch cracker. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> so, uh, in my opinion, this three foot, two inch cracker uh, works okay for just basic cracks. Uh, but if you wanna go into more tricks, stuff like that, like that volley there, it definitely does not work very well. Okay, so here we have a four foot, two inch cracker. Let's see how well it works. Okay, so this cracker in general, just for cracking, uh, does not work that well. So yeah, let's move on to the five foot one. Okay, so last up we have a five foot two inch cracker. Let's see how well it works. Okay, so this did not work uh, at all, pretty much. Obviously on the overhead it worked a little bit because I get a little bit more momentum, but yeah, it did not work at all. Maybe on a different size whip, it would work differently, but at least for this five foot stock whip, um, I guess I would say try to keep it below or two feet or less. Um, if you're gonna do like tricks with it as well, if you're doing lots of tricks, I'd probably keep it around that 10 inch that I usually do. Um, and I would keep it at least six inches because the four inch one, it just, it, it worked okay, but it definitely didn't have the sound that at least I like personally. Uh, as well as thickness, again, like I said before, I would keep it two or less strands if you're using this uh, Kevlar kite string. Obviously for different materials, that's gonna be different. But at least for this Kevlar kite string, I would leave it at two or less strands. Typically, I like to do it one strand doubled over, but if I'm gonna use it for something like can cutting, which I have done a little bit, haven't done too much, I wanna get into that a little bit more, and I'd probably make a video on that. Um, but that one I will use two strands doubled over just to give it a little bit more thickness, a little bit more strength. Um, but yeah, as far as length goes, I would leave it between six inches and two feet, <laughs> um, depending on what you're doing. Um, and as far as the tassel length goes, at least 
for the 10 inch crackers, it didn't seem to make much of a difference if they were 10, or sorry, eight inches long or two inches long like I normally do. So as far as that goes, that didn't really make a difference. But I really hope you guys enjoyed my video and we'll see you in the next one.